I literally can't believe that happened to me. Um, I'm normally so, so careful with my stuff. A bit annoying. Warning to all of you, especially in the tourist areas, make sure your stuff is in a zipped up compartment. It's fucking bit me. All right, we're all packed up. Gonna get the bus to Gaul, Gaul, Gale, however you say it, I don't know. If you know, let me know. And then we're gonna go to Hikadua from there, and that's where we're staying for the next two nights. Uh, it's right near the beach though, so I'm looking forward to this. Gonna do some snorkeling. All right, a little update. We got on the wrong bus but it's going the right direction. It's just not gonna go where we need to go. And this one goes to Walegama. It costs 200 rupees for both of us. About 15 minute drive. 15 minutes? Yeah. All right, 15 minute drive. Walegama. Busy. Wasn't expecting it to be like this. Just waiting now, hopefully the bus turns up. We've got all our bags and everything with us. Okay, unfortunately, uh, somebody's just stolen Nat's phone from her lap on the on the bus. Be fucking careful where you leave your stuff. My stuff is always, always in here, zipped up. Nobody's going near it. You cannot leave any of your stuff out. Somebody will take it. Yeah, unfortunate. And we, we, we've met so many nice people on this trip, and it's it's a shame that. You know, there's gonna be bad apples everywhere. I'm, I'm, it leaves a sour taste, but it's uh, it's just one of those things, isn't it? Um, yeah, we're just gonna go and block the phone now. Try and find somewhere who's who's got some second-hand phones and try and get hold of a new one. A bit shit, mate, to be honest. A bit annoying. Warning to all of you, especially in the tourist areas. Make sure your stuff is in a zipped-up compartment. Okay. We've sorted it all out. The new phone is set up. We've done a iCloud restore, changed the pass the passwords and stuff for everything. We've erased the, and locked the old phone. Yeah, okay. Let's get back on with the traveling, shall we? I think we're gonna go and uh, travel around Gaul now. Are you okay, Natalia? Guys, what an absolute palaver that was. I've never, ever, ever lost my phone or had my phone stolen. But I am sometimes a little bit too trusting. But I thought if it's on my lap, people wouldn't take it. But please learn from my mistake. Always keep your valuables away in your bag so people can't take it. I couldn't have done this about Dan. Let's get on with the rest of the day. Oh. wondering there was no entry fee to this as far as I know we've just walked straight through it's just an old Dutch fort I don't know I don't know anything about the history yet I need to find a sign or some sort of blurb uh, but yeah pretty nice view from, a, from the end of the fort show you what it looks like see if it's something you're into loads of artwork out here craft stores a mysterious moonstone studio moonstone and more gems sky gem moonstone Jewelry, gems, gems. Basically, if you need gems, ice cream, tea, or coins, old coins, this is the place to go. It is cool, it's real quirky. It smells like incense for a lot of this area too. Appealing to the hippies. We've just got off, off of the bus stand. Our guest house is literally just over here apparently, so not a far walk at all. Good spot actually. Hopefully it's a good 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 place. It's pretty inexpensive. Uh, 
yeah, just uh, you know, literally just just pulling it in now. Ikadua. We're just going to get some food now. Doesn't really seem to be a lot going on. Like Marissa was a lot more lively than this. I don't know if that's what it's like during the day as well. First impressions, Marissa's definitely more lively. So this is like the main tourist area, isn't it? So who knows? You can kind of see for yourself the mad sunset. But beach is actually pretty dead compared to marissa which i'm quite shocked at i, I thought it was going to be marissa times 10 maybe further down there seems to be more I found a spot after a long walk down it does it it's kind of a weird place here it's, it's not like what i was expecting at all but we found a uh we found a restaurant here it's called uh moonlight <clears throat> uh the prices are actually pretty good if anything they're a little bit better than marissa which I, i'm shocked i thought it was going to be really expensive here and I thought it was going to be really busy. Moonlight restaurant. Nat, what would you rate at out of 10? Six. Six, even after we finish, just after we finish it, yeah? I'd say it's edible, but I didn't enjoy it. Uh, yeah, same here. Good morning, people. I'm on the action camera, so the audio is probably going to be a bit shit. We're just on our way to snorkeling now, so I don't have my phone with me. All I've got is this action camera. I've got a floaty uh, handle on it, which has got my money in it. And I've got the room key in there too, so that's all we need. All right, we found our snorkeling spot. All around these rocks, apparently. He was offering us uh, the, the mask with fins for 1,500 rupees an hour. So I'm just having a little shop around, make sure that there's nothing cheaper. Ta-da! We got two of these snorkels. He's trying to get, say, 1,500 rupees for this. We managed to get them for 1,000 uh, rupees each per hour. Here we are. I'm steamed up. I'm steamed up already. Just need a quick piss. That first snorkeling session was uh, eventful. Nat got dragged over the coral where all the sea urchins are. Looked like she was passing out, so I've gone over there. I've stood on something sharp. I asked her if she's all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, well, why do you look like you're gonna pass out then? Oh no, I was just panicking a bit. All right, well, sweet as. Now I've just cut my foot open for nothing. The geezer told us, oh, go around, go around the side there to get out. So we went around the side and he was like, oh, we walk past the boats. There's, there's more snorkeling over there, loads of fish. What he's basically saying is, she's not, she's not fit for the coral over there. It's too dangerous. So yeah, <laughs> we're going over to the kids section. There they go. Round two.
Yeah, no. I know, it's the yellow one. <laughs> no, no, it just felt like a little nip. Oh, I, didn't think I, I was like, oh, these little fish are well intrigued by me. And I turned around and there's like 20 of them following me and then one of them nipped my side. <laughs> well, snorkeling was pretty fun. Definitely recommend to do that here. Oh, mate, we've just found an even nicer bakery. Nat's just still got this, uh, like egg pizza thing, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go and get one right now and show you. Hey man. Can I get one of those as well, please? They're, they're well nice, yeah, they're good. How much is it? 120. 130. All right. Thank you. Nice one. Thank you, man. These, this is what it is. Taking all the sauce off. Of that. Yummy. Like, I don't know what they're putting in, but it's so nice. 130 rupees. I'm just gonna get a coffee now. I'm gonna find somewhere that's cheap. Taking extra precautionary measures now, just in case. You've got to be real careful in the more tourist areas. That's exactly where the feeds are gonna look. That's perfect. Yeah, okay. I'll get this one, please. Thank you. Get a shark tooth necklace. Hippie Dan. Beautiful. My neck just started piercing me. You do not want to stand on one of those. This is more like it. This, you know, this is a bit more like Marissa. Before I was thinking, bloody hell, this place is terrible. It's good for snorkeling, but it was no like sort of, you know, the beach vibe or whatever you want to say. Uh, there's a, little, a lot of surfboards here. Bear, bear in mind, we're in like, the main bit now. It's maybe the middle of the day. I start probably 1, 2 p.m. And it's, it's dead. There's like, hardly anyone here. Like, even walking on the main road last night as well, we were like, where the fuck are all the people? Really weird that there's just no one here. Oh, it's this little cake shop. I want the free cake, please. Oh, man, they look quite nice. Banana chocolate. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Oh, banana caramel, though. 100 grams. How much is 100 grams? Uh, just a portion. Just a normal, normal cake at the size amount. We got tempted in by the big pink sign outside. Thank you. Here we go. Two lumps of cake for 1,200. Do a little taste test for you. What's this? This is a chocolate one. Banana chocolate, look at that. Glistening with that's stuff that's fun. really good for you. So now it looks moist. That's really good. And I, and I don't like it when YouTubers always say, oh, it's so amazing, so amazing. This actually is amazing, mate. This cake is banging. Look at that, man. Look at how moist that is. Oh, I can't stand cake usually because it's always dry, but this is fucking spot on. Okay, just left our accommodation in Hikadua. We're just on our way to Colombo now to catch a flight off to our next destination. Just gonna get a train because uh, apparently it's faster, a little bit cheaper. It is busy, but it's all right, the bus is a bit, a bit busy recently too. What the hell do you think? Tough shit, you're in it now. It's actually going on there like that. We've got the train from Hikadua to Colombo. We're now getting the train from Colombo to Nagombo. It's the cheapest route possible. 
it really is the cheapest route possible. The train from Hikadur to Nagombo all in costs us 550 rupees each. Very hot on this train, and there are a lot of people wearing jeans, which is insane to me because I'm dying in shorts. Yeah, we've had a bit of a change of plan. We're not going all the way to Nagombo now. Oh shit, look, it's one of them chickens. Fucking, that's one of them chickens we saw at the safari, isn't it? Oh, fucking, oh my god, yeah, they're turkeys, definitely. Oh, they're fucking huge, bro. Whoa! And we have decided to stop at the Katanayaki. Probably pronouncing that completely incorrectly, but. We decided to stop at that that railway station instead. It's now 4 p.m. The train took a lot longer than I thought. Flights at quarter past 10. We've been on a, standing on a train for hours, man. Like I'm, I'm fully ready just to sit down somewhere. I'm gonna get a pizza. I'm gonna have a nice drink. Yeah, I'm gonna chill. This is us. Yes, we are leaving Sri Lanka today. After a month, we are definitely gonna miss this place. We just want to say thank you. To all you beautiful Sri Lankans that have supported us along the way, yes, we see you all. And we really hope that our trip, well, our videos, can inspire others to come to Sri Lanka. It really is an amazing place. And for everyone out there who's thinking of traveling Sri Lanka, we have been here for a month now. Our itinerary was the main route, and we spent 900 pounds each. That's not including the new phone. I would 100% recommend Sri Lanka. It's affordable for most people. And we've made it through security. We're now in the duty-free section of uh, International Colombo Airport. International Airport. Got a couple passport, hours. Passport control definitely thought that Dad was trafficking me because he's like, "You're travelling with him." <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Look at these, mate. Ah. Fuck it.